What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am in such the mood to play Stardew Valley right now. It's currently raining outside uh, where I live. And speaking of rain, it's going to be raining tomorrow in the game as well. And sorry if I sound a little bit uh, different than normal. I don't know if I do, but I feel like I do. Um, I'm all stuffed up. I've got, I think I'm coming down with a cold. Uh, my, my throat's starting to get all kinds of sore, and it's not fun, but, you know, Stardew Valley <laughs> makes everything better. And I don't know what it is about rainy days and feeling under the weather, but it just makes me want to play Stardew Valley, which is very strange. But, hey, I'll, I'll take any excuse I can get to play this game, so uh, you won't hear any complaints out of me. Uh, today, we're going to do a couple things. One, I mentioned it was going to rain tomorrow, which is incredibly exciting. Uh, I'm sorry if my voice doesn't convey that excitement, but it's incredibly exciting because that means we can go down to the beach and get ourselves a mermaid pendant and propose to Leah soon. Uh, we won't be proposing tomorrow because uh, it'll be raining tomorrow, and I, I don't know, that just doesn't seem romantical. So we won't be doing that tomorrow, but we will be doing it soon. Um, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, I'm slowly just taking crops from here and processing them into seeds. Uh, just so I can, you know, slowly over time get seeds. You know, it'll it'll be nice. Um, I was going to say something else, but I forgot what that something was. So let me go ahead and water my crops. Take care of my animals, and I'll join you when we're done. And we've got a couple things I want to take care of, and they're incredibly exciting. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, animals and crops are done. We're going to be coming back to do a little bit more with our crops later today because we do have to replant some things. Um, what was I going to do? I've got a couple things I want to do. So I need to make up a chest and a second chest. And then what else was I wanting to do? Grab this guy because I, I found a spot for it. It's not like anything surprising or, oh my God, that's such a good spot. It, it, it's the spot. Uh, it's going right here. <laughs> I don't know why. It fits. It works. We're going to keep that guy down there. It goes with the green. It blends in a little bit. And then we're going to pop this guy in here and sell him. Hope I don't regret that. And then, dang it, I made two signs. I didn't mean to do that. Um, crap. I need... Actually, I need pretty much all of this. We're going to be going to Robin's here in a sec and getting ourselves a deluxe coop, which will be very nice. We need 500 wood... And 200 stone. There we go. That should do the trick. And then I was wanting to make a chest, not another wood sign. Our chest 50? Am I losing my mind? I am losing my mind. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm still here because that would have been bad had I made it to Robinson and not realized that. Uh, but we, I want to dump one chest just kind of over here out of the way. Um, I'm going to move this eventually, but... This is going to be where all of our all of our flowers go. Because, my goodness, we have a lot of them. And can you process flowers to get seeds back? That's something I've never tried, nor do I know for sure if that works or not. But that could be cool if we could just start processing some of those down to make more. I could go check right now, but I'm not going to because I don't feel like it. Okay, so in here, I guess we have more tulips. We can fix those later or I say fix those, we can take care of those and move them over later. What was I grabbing from here? Nothing. I was depositing stuff. There we go. Okay. So we have a couple items to sell per usual from our harvests and animals and stuff. And man, I can just, I can just hear the, I, the nasalness. Also, these are in the wrong chest. I realized I did that wrong last episode. Uh, the nasaliness. <laughs> that almost sounds like a dirty word. <laughs> I don't know why. But it does. Um, the nasally sound. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Uh, what was I going to mention? Oh, yeah. We're going to go... Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> we're going to go buy seeds from Pierre's right now. Man, I'm out of it. And uh, double check birthdays. I don't think there's any this episode. Yeah. No, we're good. And no help wanted. Okay. So I've got a couple things I want to buy from Pierre. Um, I hate that bug. That drives me nuts. Um, so we need to get... Seven tulips no let's do seven plus eight uh no we'll do we'll mix things up we'll do 16 tulips and seven blue jazz seeds or i guess they're just called jazz seeds 
Um, we also need to get... I'm getting impatient. Gonna buy a little bit more grass starter to put around for our animals because I would love to let them outside. I might just let our uh, barn animals out. I might keep our chickens in for a little while. But right now we've got a fully grown adult pig doing absolutely nothing for us except eating our food. It's not making us any money because the only way pigs make you money are by letting them outside and we're not letting him outside currently. So, all right, and a peach sapling. I don't think I said anything about that. We're gonna get our last peach sapling. Uh, we need one more for summer. So it'll be a little bit into summer before we actually make use of that, but that's no big deal. As long as we have one making us peaches that we can put in and jelly and make into peach wine, which sounds really good, actually. I don't know why, that sounds delicious. Not right now, though, because my immune system, alcohol is not good when you're sick. What is this cutscene? Oh, we got rid of the glittering boulder last night, right? Hi, D-Dove. Hi, Willie, how are you? It's odd, I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. Uh, you're welcome, I did that. Slash with the help of the Junimos, but it, they wouldn't have done it without my help. So I, I, I take full credit. <laughs> the stream is flowing from deep within the mountain, yet the water looks like it's flowing up. What is that? Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? I do. I called attention to it before you did, Willie. <laughs> yes, that's quality ore. What? The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. Can we pan for gold? Is that a thing in this game? It means we can start panning for ore. Ooh, not just gold, but ore? Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? I actually used to pan for gold when I was younger. My sister and I, whenever we'd visit our grandparents, they had like an eight acre property with an orchard and a garden and they had a creek in the back and we'd go in the, in the creek and pan for gold. It was oddly fun. <laughs> Very tedious, but kind of exciting. If you ever got anything, that is. Uh, if you ever see ore glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. Ooh, that's fantastic. You received a copper pan. Can we upgrade that into like a steel pan? No, that's a musical instrument. Um, <laughs> a gold pan, which is what I thought we were doing. And an iridium pan. I guess that's there's no puns to be made there. Uh, you're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. Get pretty lonely up here. I'm sorry, Robin. Well, nothing beats loneliness like putting you to work to get your mind off things. So, let's have her construct us a deluxe coop. Houses 12 coop dwelling animals, comes with an auto feed system, and unlocks rabbits. I actually forgot about that. We'll be able to get a rabbit foot and complete a bundle soon-ish at least once we get rabbits i think rabbit's foots rabbit feet are more rare than duck feathers which are already kind of rare uh they're just random spawns in the coop just like eggs or daily spawns but the duck feather or rabbit foot i think are just random i could be wrong but okay i'll start working on your coop upgrade first thing tomorrow morning thanks robin you're a doll appreciate you and then we'll say hi to Sebastian down in his bedroom here in a sec as well. Farming's great. Thank you. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, a cutscene. I love cutscenes. Ooh, excuse me again. Hey, D-Dub. What's up, Sebastian? How's it going, Sam? Sam and I were about to play Solarian Chronicles, the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyway. Oh yeah, we saw this on his desk. That's actually accurate. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. How come he gets a sitting animation and I don't? That's not cool. Hmm, looks like today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Solarian Staff from the clutches of Dreadlord Zarth. This is like a tabletop role-playing game, like Dungeons and Dragons or something. Cool, D-Dub. Are you ready to choose your character? Heck yes. Um, Wizard, a sharp mind is the most powerful blade of all. I actually really like playing healers in games. Can be boring, but you get you get groups and people love you for it. So, healer. Let's do it. Healer, huh? That's a very important role. 
I know. I guess I'll pick the wizard then. That makes Sam the warrior. Oh, sweet. We picked the right one. Everyone gets what they want. Cool. Warrior is my favorite anyway. Let's begin. And it fades to black and we don't actually get to play the game. Ooh. Just kidding. The king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Solarian staff. A task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journeying across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. I guess that's the tower. There, beyond a moonlit plain, lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen Salarian staff for his vile purposes. The tower lies before you. Go in the front, fortune favors the bold, search for a back entrance, let's remain hidden. After searching around the base of the tower, you discover a trap door hidden in the brush. Beneath is a ladder which, you, which your party descends. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar, peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up into the dark. What do you do? I kind of want to check out the light. It could be like a source of power that we could harness. Maybe. Or humans in jars of something. You are in a room. On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in strange glowing capsules. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? What do you do? We gotta free him, right? Unless it's keeping him alive, then that is a very bad mistake. After putting these poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. I am a healer, right? That is the good thing to do. You've come to a door at the end of a hallway. The time has come to face Dreadlord Zarth. Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you've come for the Solarian staff. <laughs> Fools, you'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dreadlord Zarth cast Shadow Beam. It's super effective. You were able to dodge the spell, but your companions are gravely injured. What do you do? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Uh, nothing combats a wizard better than another wizard, right? So heal the wizard. Thanks, D-Dub. I'm assuming that plays into our relationships with them. Sebastian casts Pure Bolt. A beam of white light hits Zareth, or Zarth square in the face. The Dreadlord shrieks and crumbles into dust. You pick up the Solarian staff and hold it high. Order has been restored to the world. You finish the scenario with B rating. I wonder if you can do any better than that. Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. That was actually kind of fun. And well done, given they reused like every single sound sample that we've heard in the game so far, but still kind of cool. Could you picture someone like me living on a farm? It seems ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. I, I cannot picture that. Okay, that does it for Robins. Um, There was something, eh, we'll go say hi to Linus while we're up here. Give him a good old Blackberry. Please don't go in your tent. I mean, I guess you can, but I'd prefer you to stay out here while I give you this. My old friend, the glimmering boulder, has moved on. It may not seem like an important event, but it's a big, but yeah, it's a big change to me. 
I'm happy for the old rock to see more of the world, though. Uh, you you all right there, Linus? Are you are you okay? Um, I'm gonna keep that on our hotbar with frequently used tools, which leaves us with next to no free slots for much else. But still, um, is there anything we can pan for here? Doesn't look like it. It clearly has to be along the the edge of the river. Although, with that requirement being a thing, I highly, highly doubt that it would spawn somewhere that's not accessible, but speaking of which, there's one right there. Let's go check this out. I've never done this before. I didn't know this was a thing. Um, oh, of course it disappears. <laughs> that's just my luck, right? All right. Let's head back to the farm real quick, get this stuff planted up just so I don't forget or run out of time or energy, because I'm probably going to need to water this stuff, at least on day one of them being planted. Uh, but then we'll see if we can't find more uh, glistening stuff in the water to pan for. All right, so I was just looking in this chest, and for whatever reason, we had some additional stuff we could place around. So I added another preserves jar, and I threw down another chuckle kiln. Um, and we ha also had a bunch of seeds, for whatever reason. Um, and hold on, where were... All of these need to go. These are going to get stored in their proper place. Right over here. Uh, but first, where are all of our seeds? Let's get these going. So we got some uh, extra seeds that were in that chest that we were just talking about. Uh, these blue jazz seeds I'm going to put outside here and water up the ones that need it. Which is just those. And then in here... I know we're going to uproot our sprinkler doing this, but that's fine. Pop this right back down, and then we can get our 16 seeds right here. I'm intentionally not using fertilizer on these because uh, I don't want any more variation in quality than we already get. <laughs> so this is looking nice. Um, I'm going to like overhaul the greenhouse at some point. For the time being, it's going to stay kind of messy. Uh, so if that bothers any of you guys, just... Look away anytime we go to the greenhouse. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, okay. So we've got some seeds ready down here. We can start processing some more. Although some of this stuff, I'm not sure if we have extras of. I don't know if we have any like in our chest uh, or in our refrigerator inside. So, ooh, and this ancient seed, we'll actually take that back out because we can plant that in... Ooh, let me grab some fertilizer while I'm here thinking about it. Uh, do we have any? Yes, we do. Quality fertilizer for those two? Yes, please. I hope I don't have to uproot these at some point, but even if we do, that's, that's fine. Uh, okay, we'll just place these here. I don't know why I just put two down. What am I doing, guys? I, I don't know. That's a waste of fertilizer, though. Okay, there's that seed. It's nice that we don't have to worry about lightning indoors. That's probably my favorite thing about the greenhouse, is just not having that concern, which is super nice. Uh, is there anything else I want to make into seeds? Let's organize that so it's all nice and tidy. I guess we could make some bok choy into seeds. Why the heck not, right? Okay, sorry this is just me, you know, doing some upkeep here, but I figured it'd be nice to do. All right, so we'll place these where things aren't growing currently, or at least try to. And I've got one more, so we'll do that right over here. Hopefully that all grows. This stuff needs to get out of here. Eventually, I'd love to have this entire thing just filled with grass. Oh, and if I remember, I'm gonna try to, we need to close this off so that this stuff doesn't spread into our crops. So we need three more hardwood fences. I'll try and go do that right now, actually, after I get sidetracked with this. Of course, because, you know, why stay focused when you can get sidetracked? <laughs> all right, let's actually plant our our peach sapling. I grab all this stuff. My goodness. This is actually really productive. We need to make some more of these. Uh, it takes wood and copper, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll definitely need some more wood because that is now something we're hurting for. But there we go. 
all of our summer trees are now planted. And if we can, by the end of spring, get our fall trees planted, that would be really nice. Not sure if we'll be able to, but again, that's that's a goal. We weren't able to ac accomplish that in winter to get all of our summer ones planted. Uh, but hopefully that's something we can rectify and take care of this season. Man, I cannot get my inventory straight. All right, so we'll sell the high quality stuff. Use the other ones to either sell or make into seeds. Most likely the latter. But let's grab Applejack and head back into town. See if we can't find any of those uh, ore deposits, I guess they are, in the rivers. I, this is just piquing my curiosity right now. I've never seen that before or never even like heard people talk about it. I've watched a lot of Stardew Valley YouTube videos. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot uh, but anytime I guess there's something spoil spoilery, like the desert or the sewers, which I had never been to before this playthrough, uh, I would always cut away. And I've never even had to cut away from someone panning for ore. Um, that's not that's something I've never seen in this game. So I kind of want to check it out and see if it's like a guaranteed chance or if there's like a, a mini game mechanic associated with it, kind of like fishing. Or if it's literally just you click it and you get ore. That could be really cool too. Either way, I'm not picky. I'm just curious. Okay, there's one up there. Let's get to that before it despawns, like last time. And we just use our tool on it. Ooh, I love that animation. <gasps> Sweet! We can get iridium out of that? Heck yes! I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled for that stuff. And keep this on me all the time. If we can get iridium and an omni geode in one go, like... What else is there that we can get? I mean, that's probably the... I probably got really lucky there, and that's probably not super common, but still, like, it's something to be excited about. That's another, not surefire way, but decently easy way to acquire Iridium, which is something that I am in uh, a great need of. And I'm going to prioritize all my sprinklers before I prioritize uh, tools. Having an iridium watering can, I feel like is going to be less beneficial than having an iridium... What is Kent doing out here? Having uh, iridium sprinklers on our fields. Hey, now this is a really great gift. Thanks. You friends with my son? Which one? You probably know him better than I do. Ooh, so dad and I'm guessing Sam. I don't think he has an issue with Vincent, but... Papa Kent... And baby boy Sam don't have the best relationship. That's sad to hear. Good to know, but sad to hear. All right, let me go ahead and dump some of this stuff and get a little organized, and I will see you guys when it's time for bed. All right, I did a little bit of clearing of our mineral chest. I was able to sell a couple that we had more than five of, so we'll be making a little bit of money from mining, even though we didn't do any mining today. Um, and also, don't remember what I was going to say. Look at that fish. Are they all worth this much? Because I think that's exactly how much the last one was worth. Either way, very exciting. That's a lot. Mining, like I said, we made a little bit from some random stuff. Oh, uh, that two iridium was enough to give us, or to put us at six iridium ore. So I smelted down an iridium bar last night. That means one more sprinkler, which we don't need today because it's raining, which means we have so much time to do other things. My goodness, I haven't had it rain yet in spring. Clear and sunny tomorrow for the egg festival. Okay. Which we already won once. So I'm curious what happens if we win a second time. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Might be a good day to go fishing. Like just a lot. So this might be a really short day for you guys. But. Ooh. That's exciting. And this is exciting. Heck yes. And so is that. And so is this. All the exciting things guys. All of them. Uh, we'll get more oil going here which I'm not even sure I need that many things of oil but okay gold iridium and battery pack battery packs are over here I believe in one of these chests we're almost out that's not good but this is good heck yes and then we'll get some more stuff smelted up real quick this stuff we're running low on, for sure. And that iron ore can go back. There we go. 
Okay, what's what's our mail say? I'm, as, I'm sure it's about the festival tomorrow, but... Hello, friend. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share my good fortune with you. Don't tell me he found that in the lake. Please. <laughs> Dear D-Dub, we're holding... Or tomorrow, we're holding the egg festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt, Mayor Lewis. You're right. I would love the opportunity to absolutely dominate the town again this year. That definitely sounds like something I want to do. Are you kidding? Are Blue Jazz is already ready to go? I guess I'll use some of these to test out whether or not we can actually make seeds out of them. So let's put those in and we'll take two of those. Actually, let's do these two since it'll get rid of a stack because my goodness, so many stacks. And this is so incredibly nice. I've got one right here, uh, Iridium Sprinkler, that is. Uh, I'm going to be moving it in a little bit. I'm just kind of putting these here to... I don't even know why I'm putting them there, but it saves me a little bit of work. Uh, it saves me two rows right now. But as soon as we get a harvest of both probably parsnips and garlic, we'll be able to put those two sprinklers in those two locations, and it will be so nice. Um, I mentioned I wanted to do this. Ooh, you can. Cool. And we're going to make some green bean seeds as well. Oh, we got some blue jazz honey out of that. Awesome. These are going somewhere else. And this, heck, we could eat if we needed to. But all right, let me go ahead and take care of my animals. Some of that grass is already spreading. That's really nice. We might start letting our animals out. I was going to say tomorrow, but I quickly changed my mind. In the next couple days, I think that could be a smart idea. Start making some money from our pig which I'm pretty sure make you a ton of money. But anyway, guys, let me go ahead and take care of my animals, and then I've got something exciting I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, so since you guys are watching this video, I think it's safe to assume that you enjoy Stardew Valley. That's just uh, an assumption I'm making. And you guys know I love this game, and I've mentioned that I also kind of grew up on... Harvest Moon and how much I love that game. I've talked about that a little bit before as well. And about 30 minutes before I started this recording, I dropped about 30 bucks and I decided to back an upcoming game on Kickstarter, which I've never done before, but it looks absolutely amazing. And I wanted to share it with you guys in case you want to as well, uh, depending on how much money you decide to drop down, you can just pay a couple bucks and just help them out you can do like uh, i think it's like 20 bucks and get access to the game you can do like 30 bucks and get access to the game and the beta you can do like 50 bucks if you want access to the alpha as well anyway the game i'm talking about is called farm folks and the best way i could describe it is i don't know if you've seen anything on a game called my time at porsche it's kind of similar but my time at Porsche, it's basically people originally described it as like a, a 3D Stardew Valley, except instead of farming, you do a lot more crafting, like building stuff, which is kind of cool. But this seems like, or farm folks at least, seems like a combination of the two. So it's like a 3D Stardew Valley, but I'll link the trailer in the description as well as a link to their Kickstarter in case any of you guys want to go check it out for yourselves and consider giving them money as well. Uh, they're already at like 110% of their goal, so the game will be happening. They said it was an all or nothing thing. If they reached their goal, then they would make the game. If they didn't, then they wouldn't. Uh, but they met their goal fairly quickly. And it looks amazing. And I'll, I'll elaborate more here in a sec. But hello, strange man. Old Mariner. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. In your eyes. There be a spe oh sorry, ah I see it in your eyes. There be a special slub one in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid's pendant. Give that to your intended, and they'll know exactly what you mean. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry I didn't realize he was a he had such a pirate attitude. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Wow, that looks really cool. No wonder the women love that. That's awesome. But I think. 
and if everyone loves that. I think if you play a female character, you have to give that to the male you want to marry. Interesting. What was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, uh, yes. More about that beautiful, beautiful game. Uh, the graphics just look freaking amazing. Like, it looks like so much time has been spent on it, and it just looks really nice. Um, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go fish, I guess. Heck, let's go back to the beach and fish. Because why not? I'll keep talking about the game, though. There's there's mining. There might be combat. If there is, I wouldn't imagine it'd be much more than Stardew Valley's combat. Like, very, very simplistic. Very, you know, not a huge aspect of the game. But... Because Stardew Valley, yeah, it has combat. But, I mean... As far as combat goes, it's it's hardly combat, but uh, it's got combat. You can mine, you can fish, you can take care of animals. There's already, like, they've confirmed there will be, like, 44 crops or something like that at launch, which is already more than Stardew Valley has. And the fact that they specify at launch means they might be adding more later. I looked at some of the more expensive Kickstarter packs you can buy, and when I say more expensive, I mean, like... You know, I dropped just under $30 on it. You can buy packs that are $6,500, and you basically get to, like, design in-game assets as well. Kind of kind of ridiculous, but, you know, if you got the money and you love the game, then by all means, go for it. Uh, but one of the things was you can select which in-game rideable animal you would like to have. So you can ride... Not just a horse, I don't imagine, but you can ride some of your farm animals, which sounds really cool. I don't know. And there's... It just looks good. I, I can't do it justice. Uh, go watch the trailer. You'll you'll see what I mean. It's just... It puts a, a tingle in your heart and makes you just want to play it and buy it. <laughs> well, at least it did for me. Because these kind of just chill games are... I don't know. There's something about them that does not get old and... They seem like they really care about the game and want it to... They're taking user feedback into consideration. I went ahead and joined their Discord server as well so I can kind of keep up to date on its development and maybe fill you guys in if you're curious or want to hear more about it. I would gladly start making some kind of coverage videos if you guys would like that. Uh, that'd be a new, new thing for me to try out that I may or may not enjoy doing, but I'd love to try it regardless. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fish for, God, I don't even know how long. Maybe I'll go take a break and go cut, cut some trees down, restock our wood supplies, because we are pretty low after uh, purchasing that coop upgrade. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys whenever I decide to rejoin you. Okay, I just came to the forest to cut some wood down, and apparently we're getting a cutscene of Shane cast out with one two three six packs two bottles of something and an extra beer wow that's a lot d-dub i yeah i'm sorry <laughs> my my life it's a pathetic joke look at me why do I even try? <laughs> I'm too small and stupid to, to take control of my life. I'm just a p piece of soiled garbage fluttering in the wind. <laughs> I've been coming here often lately, looking down. Here's a chance to finally take control of my life. These cliffs. Shane, that is not the answer. But 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 I'm just too scared, too anxious, just like always. Get it together, Shane. Holy crap, D Dub. All I do is work, sleep, and drink t to dull the feelings of self hatred. Why should I even go on? Tell me. Tell me why I shouldn't roll off this cliff right now. Oh man, these are all... 
all decent options. Um, I don't feel like this would click with him too much. It would be a sin. Um, this is too bland. Like, he's going to totally disagree with this because clearly he doesn't think there's much to live for. I'm not going to support him in that decision, so I'm not going with that. So I guess family. You're right, Jazz. Oh, God, I'm a horrible, selfish person. <laughs> that was a terrible hiccup. Now I feel even worse. Sometimes you gotta reach a new low to get feeling better. D Dub. I think you should take me to the hospital now. At least he's coherent enough to realize he has alcohol poisoning. Holy crap. I pumped his stomach and rehydrated rehydrated his body. He's going to be okay. It's good that you brought him in, though. Too much alcohol was terrible for the body, but right now, I'm most worried about his mental health. When he comes to, I'll have a chat with him about his treatment options. I know an excellent counselor, counselor in Zuzu City. Man, that's so sad. I... I love and hate the cutscenes with Shane. They're just so they're raw. I mean it's it's very human, but they're they're sad. Life can be painful sometimes. But there's also or but there's always hope for a better future. You've got to believe in that. Jeez. Alright. Well now I get to cut wood with that woman over my head. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it's just about time for bed. I went ahead and cleared out some chests and we've got a good amount of stuff to sell. I also wanna make some uh, sashimi with what we have left. Oh, and look at that timing. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, what did I just put in there? Cherries, I believe. So we'll have three things of cherry wine and we're gonna be selling some coconut wine and cactus fruit wine. So I wanna make sure I remember to check and see how much those are worth. Not that it's gonna change too much, but uh, okay, now let's make seven things of sashimi. There we go. Gotta keep that relationship with Sebastian up, which I think we're making pretty good progress with. Yeah, look at that. Seven out of ten hearts. And I don't know if you can... Someone will have to let me know, because I know as soon as we gave Leah the uh, bouquet... It blacked out the last two hearts on all the single females, but also the single males. So I don't know if there's same sex, same sex marriage in this game. Not that it matters. I'm just curious if there is. Um, if anyone knows, that'd be cool. I'm curious. Uh, but what did I say I wanted to do? Oh yeah, check check pricing on stuff as I went to bed. I was thinking there was something else I had to do before I went to bed, but there was not. Okay, so tomorrow's the Egg Festival, and then the day after that, I think we can propose to Leah. So, that's exciting. Um, nothing too exciting about fishing. Would it be farming? No foraging? None of the above? What? Is it part of farming? Ah, just not on the first page. Okay, coconut wine, 420. And then 315 for the cactus fruit. But still, we've got some of this growing inside. If we could just get a couple uh, kegs and... Oh, man. That'll be... That'll be super nice. Okay. Let's get out of all this and go to bed. 8,417 gold. Not too bad. Next on my list of things to buy, I still want to buy a star drop from Krobus, which is 20,000. Uh, but first, I think I want to get a shed, which we could actually go by on the 14th, second day of next episode, because I'm wanting uh, a shed so we can start really finalizing, I guess, more get a more permanent setup going for all of our kegs and preserves jars. It'll be a nice setup once I get it all done, but until then, it's going to take a little bit, so... And it'll add one thing to check every day, which I don't know. But once we get sprinklers, which we should be able to put down today, I think, now that our parsnips and garlic are ready, it'll just save us that much more time so we can have more time for other things. 
But all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this one. Again, make sure to check the description of this video if you're curious at all about Farm Folks, the game I mentioned. Uh, again, I'll have the link to their Kickstarter as well as to the trailer in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Feel free to let me know again if you want to see any content on that. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing it when it comes out. I don't know when it's coming out, but if you'd like any coverage of it before it comes out, let me know and I'll, I'll gladly try my hand at doing those sort of news coverage type videos. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this one. Sorry for the, the lackluster enthusiasm. I Like I said, feeling a little bit under the weather, but hopefully that changes soon. I will see you guys in the next one, though. And until then, as always... Take care.